heading out to the camper ranch. It's getting to be slim pickings around here. And the uh, reason I'm going out here is I may have mentioned this earlier that I don't like the 1976 sidewalls. I don't like the shape. Now, I am pretty sure that I saved a 15 foot off of like a 69 or 70. So all I need is one side to get me going. And here's the pile. There's the pile. Let me rummage through that and see. I'm gonna to try to get the long side if I save that. And uh, hopefully all the pieces are there and I'll have a good template. Exactly what I had hoped for. Let me pull it out of the way now. We've got a good sheet of the top one. We're gonna have a real good template. You can see right here. This is so that is the door sign. That's either the front or the back. Yeah, let me make a mess. Small piece right next to the door in the front. I think that's the door side means that this is not the door side. And it's in good shape. Oh. But that is in really good shape. But we're just using it as a template because we got new skin. It's going to look a beautiful new skin. I think I could have used this. It's in great shape. We're gonna have to haul it into uh, World Headquarters, see if we can't make a template off it. I think I'm just gonna cut both at the same time. I don't know if you can see this, but I've got them stacked up with the good side in. That means I can take this side, put it here, take the side underneath, set it over here. Good sides on the inside, I think, is how that works. I'll put my brain to it here in a minute, but that's how it should work. Oh, boy. Um, this trailer, the 76 JS, 77 inches tall. Now, I don't know if this skin is 76 inches tall. Well, if we get, uh, just get kind of close here, get a rough estimate. It's only about 69. So I've got to come up with about seven, eight inches of plywood so i'll probably just move everything up the required amount and just have a longer well just going down let just go down straight for another six inches seven inches where it wouldn't have normally so what i'll do and uh 
that way we'll keep the shape right here that we're looking for. So I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna get my measurement. I'm gonna trace it, I'm gonna cut it. I don't know if this is a good angle for you or not. I went 76 inches tall instead of 77. Still give plenty of headroom, especially in the front. Um, I like the back. So instead of coming off here and going up six or seven inches, which wouldn't work because this sheet is at 47 and a half. That's all the wider it's going to get. So it can't make it any taller. So what I did was I separated the panels right here and moved that top panel up to 76, which is going to be a little more exaggerated where the back window would normally go, but it has that slope to it. Um, I don't know. What do you think of that? Is it going to look okay? Or does it still kind of look like a toaster? And I think that's just because we're going from 69 and a half or whatever it was up to 76. And so, you know, height to width, whatever ratio we're looking at is, uh, that's just what it is. But I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. I measured the roof because I ordered a certain amount of roof. So I've got that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. sander belt sander and kind of evened out the curves the best i could so you can kind of let me back up a little bit you can kind of see it uh a little less like a toaster than it did in 76 i still like that and then it curves down just that stool is in the way and we retained that and it curves. So, keep my hand out of the picture. You can see it. So, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good because it's going to have a flat floor and a pretty high ceiling. Um, and that lumber just looks good. And that's the bad side. That's not even the good side. That's good looking lumber. I like it. Prices come down a little bit. Each sheet is still 50 bucks. So... Still pretty expensive. So what is that? 300 bucks sitting there just for the walls to look pretty. Uh, whoever gets this, I hope they appreciate that. Got things set in place for now. Yeah, those are the 90s. They're just temporary holding it up, trying to keep it close to 90 degrees. Same on this side. So as I got to look, and you know, when you use a jigsaw, you're never going to get it as straight as you want it. So I went back over and uh, I hit it with a orbital sander just to try to, you know, relieve the high spots. You can have a little play on that deal. It's not going to make that big a difference, but you don't want it. You don't want to see it when it is sitting still. You really don't. And you won't. We're pretty close now. Got it where I want it. I'm going to uh, get started on some interior pieces. Because, you know, once we set... Right there. There's my pattern. Once we set our dinette right here, seating, then we got to start going back. Then that tells me where I can start the potty closet. Where I end the potty closet is where... I'm going to start the refrigerator and the AC. 
and then the bed gets the back part at least minimum 48 inches over here again dinette seating and over here is going to be the kitchen floor to ceiling more or less and then back there the bed now the thing about this is it's 83 inches wide well our seating is only 21 inches wide so 21 plus 21 is 42 we got 83 that is 41 inches too wide we don't want a 41 inch table so like we've done in the past over here on this side we're going to build a little banquette i think that's what you call it a banquette a little banquette right there it'll come out about nine inches that'll give us our standard 32 inch table right here plus it'll give us a little room to squeeze by right here for the uh potty closet so i've got to get working on that that's probably going to be it for this video and uh just hey just one more time check out that that vinyl's nice i'll be back in a few days